Hi, this is Mike McCracken, your customized songwriter. Coming to you live from Dweebville. This book is really weird. I'll be doing chapter four today. Howdy folks. Welcome back to Dweebville. The dweebs already did things. Who are the dweebs? Today we might find out. Hope you stay around and learn with me. It's going to be exciting. But it's always exciting around the dweebs, isn't it? First they had a great celebration that didn't really happen. How did they do this? I don't know. I'm not that smart. Then they watched a favorite show on their broken down television. Their mom came and turned it on because they were crying. It was really good. Then they built a giant sand computer. That really worked. The only problem was they couldn't turn it on because there's no on button in Geekazoidville. This made me think. I do that sometimes because, well, I don't really have a reason. Oh yeah, why didn't the dweebs do much? Why do the dweebs do everything really slow? Are they trying not to be noticed? If so, they better stop doing things. The dweebs are here. Who are the dweebs? I don't know, but they're my friends. I like them. How did the world live without dweebs? Oh no! If the dweebs are really here, where are they? Because I can't find them! I think I'm getting dweebified. What does that mean? I don't know. If I can do that. I became a dweeb narrator with no dweebs. I hate it when that happens. I hope the dweebs don't find out. It might get embarrassing. I see the dweebs. Oh, I forgot to look. This happens sometimes. The dweebs are really busy now. They are sitting in the same chairs they did in the great celebration. It must be their favorite chair. Why are they doing this? They must like looking at their plain white wall. I'm going to help them look. It might be fun. They look at their wall for exactly 46 and a half minutes. Now they are standing up. The dweebs did something else. Imagine standing up and being able to do anything you want to do. The dweebs can do that. I think that they may do something else today. Let's stay around and find out. If they do, it's going to be exciting again. Imagine being excited twice in the same day. We can do that. If the dweebs do something else. They just stand there for about 10 minutes. They must be tired after standing all the way up. I think that they're going to go somewhere or maybe even move to the other side of the room. Wow, the dweebs are really active today. I can't wait till they start walking. The dweebs take their first step. Where are they going? Imagine taking your first step after not walking for almost an hour. How many people could say they did this? Maybe you have to be a dweeb to do this. I don't know. The dweebs are walking to the door. It's an old door. I know because the dweebs house has glasses on it. And that means that the dweebs house is getting old. This means that the dweebs are old too. How did they get so old? They're just boys. The dweebs can do really strange things, can't they? I told you 
that they are able to do what they want, wow, they really can. They can even get old when they are boys. I just found out that they were born in the 1900s. That's a long time ago. That is the last century. Well, they can even pick when they were born. We are finding out a lot about the dweebs, aren't we? I can't wait to find out something else. Can you? The dweebs are really interesting today. Dweeb number one opens a door. Where did he learn to do that? He opened a door all by himself with no help. No dweeb has ever opened a door before. He must be really smart. Oh no, their mom is coming. She's the mom that can talk. She's going to say something to the dweebs. It's going to be exciting. I wonder what. I want you back in 46 and a half minutes. Dweeb one says, Mom, do we really have to hurry? Dweeb two says, My legs can't move that fast. Dweeb three says, can we have 47 minutes instead? The mom feels sorry for them and gives them 47 whole minutes. Well, the dreams are great talkers. I wish I could do that. How do they know what to say? The dreams are outside in the cold air. Close the door and walk three steps and stop. Dream one says, do you think we went too far? Dweeb 2 says, I have three popsicle sticks. Dweeb 3 says, If we did, I hope Mom doesn't notice. You know how she likes us to stay close to the house. It's time to become popsicles. The dweebs just stand there holding their popsicle sticks. They only have about 46 minutes left to become popsicles. The dweebs just did four things in a row without resting. I don't know if they could do that again. But they are really in a hurry because they only have 46 minutes left. They do this every year when it starts getting cold. They must really like popsicles. Yes, the story is getting exciting. The dweebs are busy. I wish I had a popsicle stick. I would join them. Everyone knows you can't be a popsicle without a stick. That would be really weird. It's been about 16 minutes and the dweebs are starting to shake. Why would they do that? It must be really cold. Their little sticks are even wiggling. Maybe they are going to become a popsicle shake. I like popsicle shakes. They taste really good. Why would anyone want to become a popsicle? Maybe you have to be a dweeb to really know. It's starting to snow. Wow! Maybe they can be an icicle or a snow sickle. The dweebs have three things to become now. They are really lucky because there are three dweebs. The snow fell for about 15 minutes and stopped. The dweebs are all covered in snow and are all white. They look like popsicles with their sticks hanging out. They did it! They became popsicles in just 31 minutes. I told you the dweebs can do anything. The dweebs stopped shaking. I guess that means they're done. Maybe shaking is part of the dweebs recipe to make popsicles. It really works. The dweebs are popsicles in record time. I know because they do this in 31 minutes every year. Now they only have 16 minutes left. 
The day is really exciting. We found out who the dweebs really are. The dweebs are popsicles. Are the dweebs just going to stand there? They have other things to do before time runs out. They have to get the snow out themselves, put the popsicle sticks in their pocket, walk three steps, open the door before time runs out. This is a lot to do for a dweeb, and this time they are frozen popsicles. Do they have a chance to change back to dweebs first? The dweeb just stand there for another six minutes. And their mom comes out and starts to shake them. So the snow falls off because the dweebs can't hardly move. This takes about five minutes. So they only have five minutes left. Will their mom get them in the house in time? She has to put the popsicle sticks away, carry them into the house. I hope so. I don't want to see the dweebs get in trouble. She is looking at her watch. Oh no, she might not make it. She carries dweeb one into the house and puts him by the door. Then she runs out to get dweeb two. Dweeb three is too big for her to carry, so she puts him on her back and carries him into the house. Maybe next year, the dweebs are going to need a bigger and stronger mom. The boys are growing up and getting heavy. I can't wait to see what happens. Now it's been exactly 46 and a half minutes. The popsicles, I mean the dweebs, are in the house. The dweebs had an exciting time. I missed out on all the fun. The popsicle sticks were put in a special drawer until next year. This took about 30 seconds. Then, and now, it's been 47 and a half minutes. The fun outside is over. Now it's time to relax and thaw out till next year's winter celebration. I found out that when the dweebs walked outside, their thick wire frame glasses fogged up. They couldn't see. That is why they only took three steps and just stood there. I still don't know time, so I have to say what it seems like now. I was told that they really walked out there for about five minutes. Their mom came out and got them because she did not want them catching colds. That would be bad. As for the popsicle sticks, no one knows why they had them. Maybe someday the world will find out. You can only find out if you go there. They are just three kids that obeyed their mom. Their mom gives them sticks to remind them to stick close to the house. The dweebs didn't really become popsicles after all. I guess they can't really do everything. We may never find out who the dweebs are or how they do things. They are the only normal kids that may be taken over the minds and imaginations of both kids and adults. It is something that can only be discovered somewhere in a cold part of the earth in the winter on a little dead end street known to you as Dweebville. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the story. Come again.